Do you apologize for actions that are not your fault? Today's video will look at how over apologizing makes you seem less confident and learn some tips to help you improve. I'm sorry my English is bad. I'm sorry I don't know the word. I'm sorry I can't hear you. Have you ever said any of these sentences? I'm Kristen. And as an adult ESL teacher, I have heard these statements so many times. Let's look at what an apology is and how to use it correctly in the workplace and in everyday life. Apology, a noun, a regretful acknowledgement of an offense or failure. You regret and feel badly for doing something that has upset another person. You have done something wrong and you want to tell the other person you realize that fact. I'm sorry for spilling my coffee on your jacket. I'll pay to have it cleaned for you. That is an acceptable use of an apology, not I'm sorry for my English. You have done nothing wrong. It is not wrong to be a language learner. It is not your native language and you're doing your best. If you enjoy learning with me, please like, share, or hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be the first to hear when new videos are released each week. Now, let's review why apologizing too much can hurt your confidence. Confidence is a perception of how you appear to others. You may feel nervous and shaking inside, but with hard work and practice, you can still seem calm and collected, confident to other people. Confidence in the workplace is a good thing. When you apologize too frequently, it undermines your confidence. People start to believe you have low self-esteem. The more you apologize, the more they believe you lack confidence. Also, if you're often apologizing, your words begin to lose their importance to others. If there is a situation when you are actually sorry for doing something wrong and you apologize, the words do not hold as much meaning anymore because you say them so often. People stop believing what you say. Over apologizing takes strength away from your words. Now there are ways to improve this and to make sure that when you apologize, you do it only when it's necessary. Do you know any over apologizes? Are you an over apologizer? My first tip is to change the words I'm sorry to thank you. I'm sorry is all about how you feel. Thank you is about other people and how you feel grateful for them. I'm sorry for my bad English can be changed to thank you for listening. Thank you for listening carefully to my words. You've done nothing wrong in learning another language, but you are grateful that other people are patient with you as you perhaps struggle to find a new word, use a wrong grammar tense, or make a mistake. They are patient and you are grateful. My second tip is to use the right apology for the right situation. There are times when we need to apologize at work, and this can range from very informal with colleagues, coworkers, and friends, to extremely formal to upper management, your boss, or people in a higher position than you. And also many phrases are neutral. They fall in the middle and can go either way. Use informal apologies only with those close coworkers and friends at the office. My bad, I forgot to send the link in the email. This one is one of the most casual and informal uh, apologies. Whoops, or oops, I dribbled some coffee on your desk. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to shut the door right in front of you. My mistake, I gave you the wrong file. I messed up. I wrote down the wrong date for the call. I screwed up. I forgot the meeting was changed to Friday. My fault. I finished all the cookies in the break room. These are very casual and used just with those close, casual friends and acquaintances that you have. Definitely not for a boss. 
Now, formal apologies often sound very formal, very stuffy. We regret to inform you that the company is closing. I would like to express my regrets that you were not chosen for the new position. It is with great concern that we must ask why you've often been late this month. I take full responsibility for the missed deadline. I wasn't prepared. We truly regret the problems the subway delays have caused our customers. I sincerely apologize for missing that important meeting. Now, here are some more apologies that can be considered neutral, not too formal and not too informal. They're very simple. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm terribly sorry for. Please accept my apologies. I apologize for. Now, this is not a complete list, but there is enough examples here for you to see the different kinds of apologies. Practice using the one that best suits your needs at the time of apologizing and that you feel comfortable with. My third and final tip. Do not use I'm sorry when you really mean to say excuse me or pardon me. This can lead to confusion. I'm sorry, can you help me? Is there something wrong, ma'am? Oh no, I, I just need to ask you a question. In this scenario, using excuse me or pardon me would be much better and would not lead to misunderstandings. When you start with the word sorry, the person who hears that thinks that something is wrong, either that you did something wrong or something has happened. So excuse me or pardon me is much better. I hope these phrases and examples help you choose the right apology phrase when you need one the next time you have to apologize, hopefully for something you actually regret. Now this might take time to change your automatic thinking if you tend to be an over-apologizer, but you can do it by paying attention to your words. Also, you can ask your friends because those people will know if you tend to apologize for a lot of things that you don't need to apologize for. If this material has been helpful to you today, please consider subscribing or share with someone who needs to stop apologizing for everything. Remember, only apologize when you've done something wrong. This way, the apology will not lose its importance when you do say you're sorry. A list of the phrases from today's video will be in the description box below. Never stop learning and have an amazing week.